Hello YouTube! It is Kristen and this is my four week update. Uh, this week I think I'll start with the numbers because I had a very good week. Um, I am now at 219 which is a total of 26 pounds lost. I was a little frustrated um, on my last video because I had had a stomach bug and it kind of made a pause in my weight loss but um, I just quickly picked up again once I started to be able to eat and drink uh, somewhat normally again um, I started to lose weight again so I've lost um, a couple pounds even in the last couple days I went from 222 I lost two pounds and then I lost another pound today so I'm at uh, 219 and I'm happy about that uh, let's see what else. Uh, I've been doing the treadmill every day, uh, at least half an hour. I read my nook while I'm on there, or uh, browse the web with it. And I, don't, I didn't know you could do that, but um, apparently you can use the nook for a lot of things. And uh, I love it. I use it all the time. Um, I went to the dentist today, which was really awful. Um, I mentioned in my first video that... Um, uh, I had a broken tooth and it was knocked out by the breathing tube. So um, I'm missing one of my front teeth. You can really see it right there. Um, so I went to get an estimate on um, getting getting some implants put in. Uh, it didn't go very well because uh, I'll need like four of them all together to do my whole top of my mouth. and. Um, the four of them, they're like $2,000 each, so the estimate was like $13,000. So that wasn't uh, too promising for me. Um, if I get a, um, like a denture type of thing, it's going to be $3,300. So I'm trying to decide what to do as far as that. It's kind of a bummer, like getting my life and my body back and then having teeth be a big issue. I always had really nice teeth. It was like, um, once I got heavy, my teeth started going bad. I don't know if I ate more sugar or what it really had to do with. My whole body changed. Something happened to me in 2006. I didn't change my eating or anything, but my hormones or something just drastically changed. I went from being a size 4-6 um, within a year. I had gained a hundred pounds, my teeth started going bad, just, uh, I don't know, no doctors have been able to figure it out. I don't know if there's anyone out here who has any ideas. Uh, I've read a lot of books on female um, hormone issues particularly, and um, I have an inkling that uh, it probably has something to do with hormone issues. It, was, it all happened after my fourth child. And anyway, um, I mentioned in my last video that I, was, I had ordered quinoa. Um, it's a seed uh, protein source that um, a lot of people use it as a substitute for rice. You can do lots of stuff with it. You can um, make burgers out of it, make it into pasta, quinoa pancakes. Um, you can use it as a breakfast cereal. Well, I cooked it. Um, I did the basic cooking of it. And at that point, you can use the cooked um, quinoa to do a variety of things. Um, I made one cup, and one cup has lasted me um, for like at least six meals. Because I only eat like about, you know, maybe a quarter of a cup at a time. It made quite a bit though. Um, I'll be eating off of it for a number of days more. Um, it was really good. It has kind of a nutty flavor. Um, the first time I had it, I had it with warmed up as a breakfast cereal with a little bit of milk and um, some sugar-free um, syrup. The next time I had it, however, I had it with some cut up strawberries. It was delicious. But I think um, that the strawberries and the natural sugars in the strawberries um, may have a bad effect on my stomach. The couple times I've eaten like just a couple bites of a fruit, um, I've had not, not dumping, but I think if I ate more, I probably would have had dumping, but I just didn't feel good. 
Um, if any of you out there know anything about, um, you know, the f natural sugars in fruit, if I should just totally avoid fruit altogether or what, um, at what point can we start having fruit without having to worry? I really miss fruit. I love it. I love natural fruits, vegetables, and all that, but I haven't been able to have it yet. Um, I'm only four weeks out right now, but um, I haven't really had a lot of anything up till now. Um, I'm not tolerating anything very well. Um, I was able to cook some tofu, um, and I had that. And uh, the first time I didn't do very well, but the next couple times I tried it, I did all right. My cat likes tofu. <laughs> she came up and grabbed some of my tofu. I thought that was cute. So whenever I have it now, I give her some. Um, also about the quinoa, I might make a video. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of pouchfriendly.com, um, but I got uh, one of my subscriptions um, sent something saying calling all cooks. Um, I don't know if you guys know Watch Me Get Skinny, his wife, I think her name is Rebecca. Um, so they want people to do videos about stuff, you know, for people that have had surgery. And uh, quinoa is a really good thing because it's high in protein. So, um, what else? Uh, we've been snowed in here. Um, I live in Massachusetts. I don't know if you guys have seen on the news the big uh, snowstorm we had up here in New England. Most of New England um, is covered in two feet of snow. So my kids um, had yesterday and today off from school, which was lots of fun. Yesterday we watched... Um, We've been renting red box movies. I don't know if any of you know what red box is. Um, you just like swipe your credit card and you can rent movies out of this like box. Um, so we got um, the the Guardians um, movie. It's about owls. The uh, what? Legends of the Guardians. Yeah. And uh, tonight we rented Despicable Me, which just came out on video. So, I'm going to have fun watching this once I'm done with my video. Um, but, back to school tomorrow. Um, I was supposed to have an appointment with my dietitian tomorrow, but I had to cancel it. Because uh, there's no one to take my five, my uh, seven-year-old to school tomorrow. So, I have to be here at the same time as my appointment was. So, I'll have to reschedule that. I see the surgeon next week. And... Um, Let's see, that's about it. Have any of you noticed after surgery that you get a runny nose? Ever since I had gastric bypass, my nose is running all the time. Um, any change of temperature, um, if I drink too fast, um, sometimes when I eat or drink, I just get a very runny nose. And I don't know why that is. So, um, yeah, it's been a good week. And uh, all you out there, thanks for watching, and I will do an update soon. See ya. Bye.